And Joanne, Jojo, so mm -hmm. talk to me, how, how did this, how did you end up out here? I learned, my mom, my mom passed away, and then I guess I just kind of like gave up. Uh, um, she used to help me with my rent and stuff, and um, she passed away and my dad kind of like disowned us and it just went downhill from there. And I know that sounds like an excuse, but um. Um, I, I, I'm not giving up. I, I've been out here for 15 years. I'm not bragging or nothing because it sucks because it's hard out here in boot camp. I call it boot camp. <laughs> um, Why do you call it boot camp? Because, I don't know, um, it's just like it's called boot camp because sometimes I feel like I'm a soldier of some kind. Because I just, every day I got to like pack up. It's how I do me. They're all at the park. But I don't like being in groups no more because when the cops break us up, I feel lost. Like a lost puppy. I don't like feeling like that. We get kind of close, the groups. But out here in San Bernardino, um, like you said, they're not um, really doing anything. We have to do something for ourselves too. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I want, I, you know, I want to go in a shelter, but a lot of them don't take dogs. You know what I mean? Uh, me and my dog, that's my buddy. Uh, she never left me when my whole family left me. You know, and she don't call me names or be mean to me. There's a lot of mean people out here. And they're all criminals really in this city, so we're kind of like vulnerable out here, like sitting ducks. You say the groups are like family, right? Yeah, we get we get close, but I, I've been in a couple of groups, but it's just like, I don't know, the cops, I guess, just get too close and they break us up. Or they think criminals hide in the homeless groups too. They think like, you know, they're just people hiding the homeless groups. That's why too. Got you. So is there a misconception? Is there like a lot of people that are criminals that are homeless or is that a misconception? Um, no, no. Uh, they think, I guess they think there is because they raid the, the um, groups, you know, for drugs or for hiding out criminals or, you know, whatever it's for. But, you know, all that doing it over and over, you know, I don't know. I understand there's trash and all that. But, you know, like you said, so maybe they can do something more about it because we're supposed to, I, all I need is assistance. I need some assistance on some things. Got you. Have you, has anyone ever tried to come out to talk to you personally or to your um, group? Yes, I did the two in one and my story is almost, my, like story of my life, almost, almost. You know, um, I, you know, I used to be on welfare and I used to live up in the mountains, right? That's the last place I lived. Um, I, that's, I've had seven apartments down here. I'm 58, by the way. You guys seem like I'm 58? I said no, <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to make it all boring. Like, like you don't, you want to hear my story? There was these ladies that came out, the lawyers, and they were asking us, did we ever get our, our property thrown away? And a couple of times, I was a guy like you. He took pictures of, of stuff from me, and he said, "At Valley, you're gonna put it on um, TV or something." Did he? So has any like government official come out to talk to you? Anyone like with the city say, hey, oh, yeah. we want to help you? They've done that? Yeah, the um, nonprofit today. They did. I didn't come out of them, but Nicole already had interviewed me before. Um, um, I have to go over here on Mill Street and supposedly you a uh, good application for thrift shop. Then they, um, they'll hire you. That's the, the, the lady told me. She's like a social worker. Gotcha. Yeah, the city came out. Gotcha. Are you looking for work at all? Uh, uh, they are hiring homeless people. Yeah, they are. I think they've got two phone people over here that was homeless. I mean, even if I just had a spot even with a hose or to get ready, I'm sure I could pull it off. You know, um, I'm thinking about it. Fast food now is $20 an hour. Mm -hmm. I used to work um, Carl's Jr. I've had a couple jobs. Gotcha. Are you open to group homes? Um, like having a lot of roommates and... and if they're strangers, I'm not too sure. I don't really do strangers out here because you never know who you're dealing with, you know? Um, I'm wanting to meet new people but on a job front. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean that's, that's the only ones you can trust me working with them as a crew member. <laughs> uh-oh. I should talk, try to talk to you. Hey, puppies. <laughs> What's you saying? What do you want?
She's angry that you're not giving her no french fries. Uh -huh. No, 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 no meat. You're not giving her no meat. She's okay. My face is fine. It's my buddy right here. <laughs> I want to put on TikTok to go viral. You know, you can go viral doing anything nowadays. It's true. That, that part. You know what? That's why probably people look at me like, why don't I have any money? I can even make a website. You know, do something. You know, there's... Oh, what's it called? Um, uh, um, GoFundMe? Something like that? You can do that too? I, I mean, see, I, I need assistance on some things, really, like how to do it and all that. Mm-hmm. One of those phones that are, like, free? Have you got one of those? Yeah, yeah, I got one there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So, maybe... I did a two one one too, and they came out, and they interviewed me and all that, and then they just didn't... I didn't come back to re deck. People kept stealing my phones, losing them. It's kind of rough out here. Got you. So, yeah, so, let's talk... Can we talk about that a little bit? Is, is there... Are there other people who are unsheltered or homeless that are kind of, like, mean and, like... Like, yeah, what's, what's the life like out here? Yeah, I, a lot of people are mean. I used to be like that, just yelling at anything mad, just mad, because I'm born and raised. Born and raised here. Um, um, yeah, there's mean people out here. Um, they're, they're probably not all there. They got mental problems. Okay. Is there a lot of people out here you think that have mental mental problems? Yes, a lot. Like from Patton Hospital and stuff like that? Yeah, Ward B, Patton Hospital. I'm sure they put, I've been Ward B one time. Yeah. I don't belong in that city, you know what I mean? I can still work and, and pay my rent and be responsible. Mm. Do, you think, do you think some people are misdiagnosed or...? Well, of course, yeah, they're misdiagnosed. They try to probably put you in there and you're not even all... You know, you're there, but they won't give you a chance. Mm. Especially if you don't know, you know who... You have no family out here. They put you in one of the facilities. Got you. I would think, yeah. So you, how long have you been down here? Almost like 10 years, over really? 20, over 10 years, over 10 years, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you think about this city? I think it's got a bad reputation, but I think I think there's good things inside there's of potential? it. Yeah, there's good things inside, it just has a bad reputation. Oh, okay. What do you think about the city? You've been here a majority um, of your life, right? Yeah, I have. Um, I still pray for the children to this day. Um, it's all about the children these days, you know, and, you know, making sure they're okay. And That's how they're, they're going to, you know, you know, make the future go on. Actually, would you like to be a teacher? A teacher? Would you ever think about doing that? I was like a teacher that I would, could always be a teacher. I go, I don't say, well, you know what, I used to study JW, and sooner or later you're a teacher. You teach your own little, like, um, church class. Got you. What's a JW? Jehovah's Witness. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was about to get baptized, so the COVID kicked in, and messed up everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like plans now, like, it, it don't seem like to go be, you know. <laughs> but, you know, one day I want to think I want to get baptized and be a JW and pioneer some people into the church. I like that. Yes. Um, I studied for five years off the street. That made my meanness go away. Mm. Like it made me like realize that you, you, you're not supposed to judge things, and there's things people got a story behind them. You yeah. Know, and, and don't look at them, you know. So now it's like, okay, maybe people do, you know, maybe they just look like that because they're mad, really mad at something, and they're just not happy in life. Got some anger inside. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody does, but you know, but. You, you think you thank God every day because you're alive. Every day is supposed to be beautiful and, you know, and all that other good stuff. Yeah, Jojo, why do you think... I got faith still. Say it again? I still got my faith. It's kind of like getting stronger. I mean, it's getting stronger every time I keep the word. You know, try to read a book once in a while, you know, and keep reading it. Maybe it's, pass it on. It's good. What's one of the biggest reasons why people are homeless out in San Bernardino? What do you think one of the reasons? Oh, like, with, of course, shoot, um, Prices have went up. The rent. Have the rent, yeah. The rent prices have went up. The economy, you know, all that other good stuff. Um, yeah, I just need to get a spot. If I already know what I could do. I just need to get one another chance. You know, um, I don't know. Everybody has their own um, persecution. That what you know, the little story behind them. Mm -hmm. So I mean, with God, as um, long as I just stay not being, not going back to my old self, I think my heart will get me off the street one day. Definitely, I agree. Um, do, do you have a phone number where we can probably have people contact you that can probably reach out to you to help you out if they yeah. need to? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, let me see if I can remember it. 866. I think it's um, 909-402-8676. Okay, cool. And we'll put that in the description, guys, so that way, you know, if you can find anything to help out, 
JoJo here to get her a place or give her the right documents. We're going to do that yeah. so we can kind of help her and give her a phone call yeah. and text her out. That'd be great, right? Yeah, that'd be like at least like something for me to look forward to. And, you know, it, it gets depressing out here sometimes. Like, you got, But I'm not going to be depressed. You know, and make everything else depressing. You got to like still smile. Like at least smile. And, you know, don't let it get you. No, it could be worse, huh? And in other places, it's worse, huh? You probably couldn't have your pup. Yeah, probably, yeah. Try to take care of her. They try to take it. She got the chip now. They try to take it away from me already. Really? A couple times, yeah. Because you know you have to have them uh, tagged, shots, all that. So they tried to do that to you. Yeah. So I got her all fixed up now. She got the chip too. Got you. Yeah. Oh, loud. Yeah, there's no peace in this city. Yeah. <laughs> it's so loud. I really hope our, our I hope we really get decent sound out of this. We'll make it work. What's the pup's name? What's your puppy's name? Um, Daisy. Daisy. Why are you barking, Daisy? You crazy crazy okay so i wanted to ask you jojo so a lot of people think that um <laughs> a lot of people think that um the homeless people are choosing to be homeless right and a lot of them are on drugs what's what do you what do you what do you, what do you say to that um okay so you know i think i was like smoking before i got homeless i smoked weed mm -hmm. um i used to drink but i stopped drinking and smoking cigarettes stop day stop and smoking cigarettes. Um, I mean, a lot of people do have pain out here, and I guess that's what they do. Whatever their reason is for it. Um, yes, that, that, I mean, and why? Okay, you're saying, like, the people don't want to get off the street? They're yeah. They're comfortable with it? I don't know about being comfortable. I really don't think it's that comfortable out here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not supposed to be. You're not supposed to make it comfortable out here, and they never get off the street. You know what I mean? Um, Whatever my story is, it's just because I've made wrong decisions. Gotcha. I've made a lot of wrong decisions that I've learned from mistakes. Yeah, because um, what they've been saying is that that they have people come out here and ask to help the non-sheltered find housing, and they said that they don't want it, but you disagree. Oh, they don't want it. Well, what is the reason why they don't want it? No, a mine would just be, can you accept my dog with me? That's all that matters, um, right? You know, that's, yeah, because she never left me. I don't want to leave her. And, um, that's the only thing. And maybe can, I'm, I'm going to work for my, my rent. I don't want to be just sitting around. Um, you know, see me taking advantage of the government. Gotcha. It's been on welfare for like 16 years. So, like, just getting off of that is like, you know, my daughter, she's already 38, though. Okay. So, so you know, she has her own life. I don't okay. I'm trying to be a burden in her life. Okay. She's yeah. trying to make it easy. Yeah. And okay. whatever she thinks I do, you know, but that's the story she's going to have until she actually comes out here to see her where her mom's, where her mom's alive. And, you know how kids are, they're kind of stubborn. Gotcha. Do you have her contact information? Do I? Do I? Do I? Oh, I haven't. No, I, I can't say I really have. I've had the numbers, but my phone has to be charged with, you know. With same. the numbers? If it goes down like Domino's, I know it's God. Okay. You know, like get, catch the bus at the right time. The whole day goes down like that, then you know it's good something good's gonna happen yeah yeah you know and you're on time you're ready and willing and all that ready to go yeah ready man i'm just my you know first chance i get even if it's just the whole program but getting a job and then saving a little money to move out on your own and get a room that's fine too gotcha maybe trying to interview and maybe giving a person like me a chance we can only hope but i think it starts with one at least right yes you know yes and Jojo, I want to thank you for your time because you're willing to, you're willing to work, right? In front of yeah, the job yeah, and do yeah. anything? Yeah, and I need assistance because I, I recycle and I heard uh, recycling self employment and I don't know how to fill out my income tax or anything like that. Okay. So, like, I've been, I'm not, I don't expect to get all the years back, just this year or either last. It don't matter where you have to have all your paperwork together, like that stuff, and keep them stapled and nice for the man to do them. It's rough, like I said, rain, you don't have them in a little like Casey, forget about it. Yeah, but there should be people at the center that should help you. Yeah, they were supposed to have people come out, but I haven't seen nobody coming out. Yeah, or even like if you go to like the county, yeah. you should be, there should be people there that should help you there. Right, right? are you talking about if I get food stamps, ask them? Food stamps, paperwork, they should be able to help you there, that's okay, their job. Yeah, 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 yeah. you show up I, at the county. You know off Del Rosa, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got, no, I go, the one, I, I'm the one at Little Mountain. Okay, whichever is better for you. Yeah, 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 I used to be in them, but they're just the, is he one of them like you? No. Uh, so, Jojo, before we get out of here, what would you like other people to know about you and 
know about the situation, know about everything. What would you like other people to know? Um, I would just, yeah, stay being responsible, paying your rent. Don't ever get homeless out here because, yeah, you, <laughs> it's not an easy, um, it's not an easy life. And, and whoever says the homeless wants to stay out here, that's them. I want to get off the street, and I can't wait. Um, if, if then maybe somebody can hear my um, interview or whatever, I can get blessed too. Because in my heart, I really think that a lot of people don't need to be out here on the street because it's dangerous. It is dangerous, you know what I mean? And, 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 if, and if, if I have any more choices out there, I'm getting ready to make a choice because of, um, they came out to interview me again. 211 is good too. So maybe I could get a chance with this, man. I hope I do. Me too. I hope I really do. Um, and yeah, I'm glad that I gave you a chance. Because you see, I don't trust nobody. I really don't. I, mean, I don't know what it was about you. Um, because, you know, I, I'm here to get anything if you need a chance, you know. Because right away I would have had attitude because you're a stranger. But then you were like, you told you your voice and the way you represented yourself. That's why, you, you know, you represent yourself like you really, you really might like do something for the homeless. Or for anybody that has, is down on their luck. Mm -hmm. Are you out here on the street? No, I, I, I've slept in my car though. I've been homeless before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but where there's a will, there's a way. Right, 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 right. That's right. probably why it seems the homeless don't want to get out if they're not willing to try. Yeah, and so I want to thank you, Jojo, for sitting down and talking with us and letting us know your story. And I'm definitely going to post this on, on YouTube, I'm going to post yeah. this on Instagram, so that way we can get it out. I'm going to send it to some council members that I know. Yeah. I'm even going to send it to the mayor's office. Wow. And uh, we're going to see what we can do for you, Jojo. Really? Hopefully your phone number is the correct number in here. Oh, uh, no, okay. Okay, <laughs> give me your number just in case it's not. You no, know, I'll give you my business card, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, and that way yeah. you can have it and you yeah, can contact, yeah. okay? Yeah. And we'll I go from there. I just got my phone, so it's like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's right, but we'll just in case. Yeah. Give me your card. Sounds good? Yeah. Thank you so much, Jojo. You're welcome.